Welcome back to Metaphor Math, and we're on to 3D in our uh, Rosenlex Intro to Analysis series. And in this one, um, we're going to do very similar to how we did 3A, where we're going to uh, kind of progressively rewrite this left-hand side so it looks like the right-hand side, showing that the two sets are equal um, through a series of equalities. And I just wrote these um, four little properties down um, for us to remember, and these are from 3B, 3C, 3A, and the top of page 6 in um, uh, the Rosenlux book. And um, yeah, these, these are going to kind of help us along our way in proving 3B here, or in 4, 4B, excuse me. Um, so let's, let's get started. So we have A union B minus A intersect. And uh, I should write one more here, actually. Uh, let's remember that x minus y is equal to, the set x minus the set y is equal to, is the same as saying x intersect the complement of y. So with that in mind, let's rewrite this. Let's get rid of this minus sign so that we have all unions and intersections of complements. And so this is equal to a union b intersect the complement of A intersect B. And remember, we can now look at this. We can look use the complement of the intersection of two sets. So the complement of A intersect B is the same as um, the complement of A union the complement of B, and we proved that in 3A. So we have, let's rewrite this again. I'm going to shift over my equal sign. Usually we write it into, well, no, that's okay. I'll keep it right here. We have enough room. So this is A union B intersect, and I'm going to rewrite this, he this, this here. I'm going to rewrite that. So we're going to rewrite that as the complement of A union the complement of B. And then now, for shorthand, I'm going to um, relabel this set here. I'm just going to call it the set U just to make things a little bit easier going forward. Because I'm going to, I like to call this distributing the intersection. So I'm going to use this property here, down here. So I'm going to use this property. And I'm going to distribute this intersection into this union here, this union. So let's do that now. So this is going to be U intersect for the complement of A union the complement of B. And now, look at this. Let's scroll down here, give us some, some more room. Oh, but we do lose this. So we're going to use this property up here, the, the kind of distribution of the intersection into the union of two sets. So we can say by that property, the first property from, let's see, that's 3B. We can say that this is the same as U intersect the complement of A union u intersect the complement of b. Let's just double check to make sure we did that right. a intersect b union c is a intersect b union a intersect c. Yes, okay, that's right. So now let's rewrite this here. We'll, let's replace u with a union b. So we have a union B, and that's in parentheses here, intersect the complement of A union A union B here, intersect the complement of B, and now let's distribute this, this intersection here. So this gives us A intersect the complement of A union the complement of A intersect B and let's just double check to make sure when we're intersecting the uh, intersection into a union yes we just did that okay so we did again we do use this first property here we we're intersecting or we're distributing, I like, to, I like to call it, we're distributing an intersection into a union. Um, so, yes, we did that right. So A 
intersect the complement of A union, the intersect uh, the complement of A intersect B, and then that's union with, and we're going to distribute the complement of B here. So that's A intersect the complement of B union B intersect the complement of B. And let's rewrite this, let's really quickly, we can kind of, as, as you might be seeing here, we can immediately rewrite this A complement, or A intersect the complement of A. Well, A, any set X, let me just rewrite this, over, let me just write this over here, X intersect the complement of X, for any set X, for any set X, is equal to the empty set. Because let's just think about this, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you prove this on your own in your own time uh, more rigorously, but just thinking about it um, kind of loosely, we can just see that this is the set X intersecting everything that's not an X. Obviously, that intersection is going to be disjoint. These two sets are disjoint because everything that's in X and everything that's not an X, there, there can be, these two sets can have nothing in common. So their intersection must be empty. Um, so moving on here, we can then rewrite this A intersect the complement of A as the empty set, union the complement of A intersect B, union A intersect the complement of B, union and B intersect the complement of B is, of course, like we just showed over, over here, the empty set. And if you remember from, um, I think this was, this was problem 3 or 2B. So in 2B, 2B, we showed that X union the empty set is equal to X um, for any set, for any set X. And so we can do the same thing here. We can, we can use that and rewrite this and this left hand, or this, this and this to be the complement of A intersect B union A intersect the complement of B. And we, we talked about in the last video that intersections are, um, intersections are commutative. And um, so we can rewrite this as B intersect the complement of A union A intersect the complement of B. And we're almost done. We have then, remember, I'm going to just rewrite this again, X intersect the complement of Y is the same as X minus Y. So using that, we can say B intersect the complement of A is the same as B minus A union A minus B, and, and we're done here. Well, I, well, I, sh I could say one more thing. Well, uh, unions are also commutative, and I'll leave that proof to you. Um, I'm going to write that over here. X union Y is the same as Y union X. Um, and so we can just write here, say that A minus A minus B union, this is this right here is equal to A minus B union B minus A. And we're done. We've, we have rewritten this left-hand side. Let's zoom out here so we can see everything. We've rewritten this left-hand side over here to look exactly like rewritten this left-hand side over here, this left-hand side to look exactly like this right-hand side through a series of equalities. So we've shown this equality through a series of equalities by rewriting this, this kind of progressively rewriting this um, using different things that we've proven in the past and different properties that we've talked about in past videos um, of intersections and unions.